Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview on my gym management system project. So let me run this project. And I'm also going to create videos on this that how I just created this all. So straight in with us, please hit like and subscribe my channel. Here you can see this one is our first page, that one is our login page. And here you can see a button. When we click on this, you can see, do you really want to exit application? So this button is used for exit this application. When we click on yes, this will exit this application or you can say close this application. When we click on no, it will not affect anything. Okay. After that, you can see there's a two field, username and the password. So I just said username at GMS, gym management system and the password is admin. Okay. And if you want to see the password, you just need to click in this checkbox, show password. So first we will enter incorrect password and try to log in. So let me click on login. You can see a pop-up message, incorrect username or password. When we again try to change in these two fields, you can see automatically the message is get removed. And when we try to log in again, you can see the messages again pop up. So when we make changes in this, automatically that message is get removed, okay? After that, we change the password to admin and try to log in, okay? You can see after login, we having home page or you can say the after login, we having first page. Here you can see the all the controls, new member, update member, and delete member, list of the member, payment, logout, exit. One by one, we are going to see all the functionalities of this. You can see this one is our first page uh, of, a, or you can see the new member page. Here we just need to enter the new member details. So one by one, we are going to enter the details. So first we need to enter the name, Gaurav Kumar. Okay. After that, we just need to enter the mobile number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. After that, we are going to enter the email address gaurav at the rate gmail.com. After that, we have to se select the gender. So male, I'm just selecting here. After that, we have to enter the father name, Sunil Kumar. Okay. After that, we have to enter the mother name, Nisha Kumari. Okay. After that, we have to select the gym timing. Like we want to select for the morning or evening. So here we are just selecting for the evening time. 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. After that, we have to enter the Aadhaar card. That one is a unique ID in India. So you can change it according to your country. Okay. Not a problem. 2224444. Okay. After that, we have to enter the age. Like uh, I have age is 25. So I'm entering here. And after that, we have to enter the amount we have. We want to take it from here. Okay. So I'm here entering uh, 500 for per month. Okay. After that, when we click on save, you can see successfully saved. Okay. When we click on OK, you can see a page get uh, delete data get deleted and you can see the member IDs also get changes. So previously ID is two and this uh, one and this one is two. Okay. So when we enter anything and when we want to delete it and uh, not want to save, we just need to click on reset. You can see deleted all the details. So this is all about new member. So next uh, update and delete member so we want to update any details so we just need to enter here one and we want to search it okay you can see god of kumar mobile number god of email address gender father you can see all the details of that user so one by one we are going to change in every sing i'm also going to change sing sing okay and here i just want to change the mobile number to one one okay after that here am I changing is to God of one, two, three. Okay. And we cannot change the gender here. Okay. Sing. And after that, uh, we are also not able to change the gym timing right now. Okay. We will not providing that functionality for that. After that, we are changing like age is now 26. So I will, and now amount is also need to be increased. So that's why I changes to 750. And when we click on update successfully updated message, you can see here. And when we click on OK, you can see details get removed. Let me search it again. Let me show you. You can see the all the changes which we done there, it's reflected here. Okay. And now I just want to delete this. So let me click on delete. Do you really want to delete? When we click on yes, then details get removed. So we will go for no. Okay. And let me reset. We will delete it later after seeing list of members. So let me click on list of members. So here you can see the all the members who are in gym. 
so right now i have only one record you can see here gaurav kumar singh you can see the mobile number you can see all the details of the all the members who are in gym right now okay now let me delete this member if uh, okay we will do it literally after the payment part okay now the next thing is our payment part so let me one let me search for the payment here you can see there is no change in this it means that this user is not paid uh, for this month so let me click on saved okay successfully updated when we click on okay you can see all details get removed let me try to search it again for pay you can see payment is already done it me and you can see one more thing the button is also get removed from here that uh, the user is not able to pay it again that's why we deleted okay after that we are again moving here and i just want to delete the user one so i just going to search for it and let me click on delete do you really want to delete i am going to click on yes successfully deleted message when we click on okay you can see and i just want to search for id one again let me click on search member id does not exist you can see a pop up message here okay let me close this and again we are moving to payment section i am trying to search for id one again here you can see member id does not exist it also deleted from everywhere okay let me also show you in the list of members so you can see this one is blank because we does not have a, any record in our okay list okay so and the, after that we having a logout button and exit button so let me go for the logout when we click on yes we move, move to this login page so let me close this application so this is all about my gym management system project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you